Hey everybody, Barry with Christensen Transportation and we're the trucker's truck. Safety takes priority. Um, seems like it's been forever since I've done a video. So I want to talk about some new, new uh, things we're getting out of all this uh, technology we have. Um, it's probably been a while because it takes me a while to uh, figure out technology. Anyway, uh, through our Samsara in-cab devices uh, that are hooked up through the ECMs, it gives us all kinds of data that we've never had before or never been able to see before and capture and analyze and score and all that other stuff. Um, big focus these days is fuel. Uh, fuel economy, idling, fuel purchasing, and driving styles that can uh, eat up your fuel. So we've got a new report uh, that we've started running that um, I will supply um, to the fleet, to the fleet managers. Um, I just got to figure out how to put it in truck number instead of driver name. So we're not sharing data with your co-drivers, even though they just have to look and see what the truck is, but we'll see. We'll see if they can figure that out. Um, this is called a driver efficiency report. And so that's basically, so in the Kenworths, uh, I noticed when I was driving those back from Nashville when we first got those trucks, it would, it would have a little score, a little red light, green, yellow light, green light, uh, when you did something poorly or something good. And, um, you know, of course, I'm the one that never has speeding tickets and uh, people make fun of me for holding up traffic, but anyway, I got good insurance rates and I don't have tickets, so. Um, anyway, you see your exit, you get over, you slow down, you put your turn signal on, you coast, and you make a nice easy turn, and it goes ding, 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 good job, nice driving. <coughs> That's what this system does. Um, it says, uh, and I'll give you the categories. Um, Cruise control percent, how, how often, uh, what percentage of the drive time are you using cruise control? Because uh, remember, with the cruise control comes adaptive cruise. If somebody pulls out, it backs you off. They get out of the way, it speeds you up. You've got predictive cruise that ramps you up to go up the hills and, and you know, uses your, your, your uh, I don't know the technical term, but uh, your weight. Your something, your force, your g-forces, your inertia, whatever it is, helps you use that to your advantage. Um, coasting, uh, percentage of the time that you coast, because uh, what it's trying to tell you is, <coughs> excuse me, the most inefficient driver, the most stressed driver, the most tire burning, brake wearing, fuel using driver goes from pedal to brake, pedal to brake, and that's all we've got. There's no coasting, so you're wearing out your tires, you're wearing out your brakes, you're using the most fuel, um, and it's stressful. So uh, that's why they have that, that coasting as, as a pretty big factor in your driving technique. Um, high engine torque, and people are like, well, what does that mean? I've got people with zero, people with 10, that's people that are not letting the transmission uh, and the computer on the truck drive it. You're taking the little knob on the gear shift and you're clicking manually up and down gears and you're revving it up when normally it wouldn't do it. It would shift at 1100 RPM, but you're impatient. You think you got to never lose one mile an hour going up the hill or you're in some kind of NASCAR race where you got to leave the stoplight quicker and you want to do this. So most companies took that out of the driver's hands. Uh, I tried to, it didn't work. But anyway, that's why you have high engine torque is because you're, you're doing that. Um, it measures your idle time. Um, that's probably the biggest thing that we've been harping on lately because it's just an absolute waste of fuel. We're not getting fuel surcharge. Um, let's say you buy a bunch of fuel and you, you idle it all out. The state, and we do your fuel taxes, the state says, well, you ran this many miles through the state, 
And here's how much fuel you got. So you got a really low fuel economy based on the fuel purchased. It doesn't know you idled. It just knows you bought fuel and drove this many miles and you pay a higher tax. So it gets you on both ends. Um, you're not getting a fuel surcharge from the customer by using customer by using it when you're hauling freight and you're paying more at the fuel taxes and you're clogging up your DPF filter at four dollars a gallon. So um, we're really focusing on that. We're checking all the trucks. We're resetting the, uh, the, the the settings on them so that it doesn't allow you to idle. If you've got a problem with your, your electric EPU, battery EPU, call us. We need to get it fixed because it's it's fuels the number one thing in the game these days and we got to get a wrap around it. Um, anticipation. That's basically knowing what's coming up. That's the, I'm taking my foot off the gas, I'm slowing down, I'm doing all this stuff, I'm, I'm looking ahead, I'm anticipating what's gonna happen. I'm not just throttle brake, throttle brake. Um, and the last one is the green driving band, and that's, it'll tell you in the truck. It's got a light, it's got a little gauge on there. It says, here's my optimum speed, here's where I want you to be. Um, so it gives you a, a, a score based on the amount of time you're in that. Um, does a lot. I've got people in here that are just almost perfect drivers. And I've got some that have got a couple categories uh, that they really need to work on. You're this close to being this close to perfect. So we're going to be pushing that out. Um, pay attention to it. Take some pride in what you do. Move your name up this list. Get, get your score better. Um, and eventually your the people around you will say, oh, that's truck number blah, blah, blah. Wow, that's a good driver. He's got a great score. You know, it can be done. That's the whole point of all this. It can be done. Um, you can do it. So, anyway, thanks for being at Christensen with Trucker's Truck. Thanks for listening to me. Um, let's be the best we can be. Be safe.